If open APIs play out as we think, it really allows us, and, and with the reusability of these APIs, it allows us to work with verticals right across the spectrum from retail to media to transport, um, security, you know, and, and particularly with the way we think about this composable architecture, we could expose APIs and create products to market very quickly and in a very agile way to make um, the most of the opportunities that are available to us. And we particularly have to do that in a world where our competition is really the hyperscalers. And we've got to move as fast as they are moving to be able to compete with them. One of the fundamental things that we did in Telstra is that we realized that APIs were too point to point and monolithic and therefore very hard for us to go to market. So we changed our philosophy and our architecture to create what we call a composable architecture. That was the first step in that journey. And so when we think of APIs, we think of APIs which are used internally, but also specifically APIs that we expose externally, either to a partner, to aggregate, or even to hyperscalers who can go in where we uh, expose those APIs to a marketplace. Now, um, the Kamara initiative is the first time where all the operators who are part of GSMA have come together to standardize open APIs. One of the issues in the past has been that it's been too fragmented, too proprietary. The Kamara initiative gives us a chance to expose APIs in a standard way and to attract developers who then can work with a common interface right across the globe. And for us to do that successfully, of course, we have to partner with the right people. So in our case, we have announced a partnership with Ericsson Vonage, who are going to aggregate our APIs. Initially, our use case is going to be around fraud and security, uh, but by no means is that uh, where we're going to stop. Clearly, when you look at APIs and common APIs, fraud and security, identity, these are certain, certainly areas of interest, but they're areas where you probably have to have high volumes and transactions to make money. So when we think of the future, we're also thinking of APIs in the network performance space. So APIs around quality of demand, network slicing. That's really where we expose the capability to provide differentiated connectivity and to be able to do that to the right partner to get the value for us. As